Next up, Not Alone, a documentary feature. Kiki Gaucher is the producer and director of Not Alone, a documentary initiated by a teen determined to end teen suicide. Kiki serves on the boards of Cool the Earth and Captain Planet Foundation. Please welcome Kiki Gaucher. Thank you. Um, I'm really excited to be here and really love to be able to present this because we just finished within the last two weeks, actually did our final cut. Um, I did not have the time yet to put a formal um, trailer together, so I have bits and pieces to show you. It's not color corrected, it doesn't sound perfect, but it gives you a little hint of what the film is about. Um, the, the joy in bringing this film together and to, and to giving birth to it is that it was initiated by a teenager and everything about it is coming from teens themselves. Uh, we were lucky enough to have 13 unbelievable teens come forward to be in the film, to share about their lives, to share their experiences with mental illness, with thoughts of suicide and with attempts um, with suicide. And um, they bring hope. They're doing this to give hope to the other kids that might have these feelings and to let the whole world know that it, it can be okay. You can, you can have these feelings and you can get better. Um, we just have a short clip, but I'll show it to you right now. We all have this persona we put up on Facebook, on Instagram. We're smiling, laughing in every shot. We're doing this, we're going here. Hanging out with these people. And our lives look perfect. Every day at school people say, oh, I'm tired, I don't wanna be here, or kill me now, or FML or all these little things that it's hard to pick up on when it's really real. Like how do you know when it's just someone being dramatic or if they're really serious? How do you know when it's someone who's suicidal or if it's someone just being a regular teen? My middle school counselor pulled me into her office one day she was like, Lauren, I'm worried about you. And I was like, oh, what's wrong? And she's like, someone's afraid that you're gonna kill yourself. And I was like, what? Like, that's crazy. But really I was like, oh shit. I was scared because I was actually gonna commit suicide that week. I grew up in a picture perfect home with the best parents. I had a ton of friends. I made great grades. I was involved in every aspect of my school and I suffered from depression. And I felt so guilty. It was so hard to get up every morning. I just wanted to be dead. Like you feel there's just like no way that it's ever gonna get better. I just felt really um, lonely and kind of like numb. I did struggle with depression, still do. When suicide was like a thought on my mind, it was, it was just like an, like an abyss, like a, it felt like it just never ended. It felt like it just a black hole sucking me in. It's like a story on my skin. It's like a tattoo almost. And I feel like they're kind of battle scars. I uh, wrote the word um, hate, just carved into my arm. Is there something that you wanted? I don't know how I could have made this clear for someone in my friend group to notice. That was hurting pretty bad you know I was like whoa I almost died you know I was I almost what wasn't here the last time that I attempted suicide was a mo one month ago I started thinking about my parents and I started thinking about you and this video Thank you. 
So for those I don't know, I'm Terry Schwakoff. I'm a longtime resident of Tiburon, and my daughter is one of the teens in this video. And um, I carry her proxy for tonight and sort of asked, what are the three most important messages to convey in a minute? And number one, we need to raise uh, visibility and awareness on this issue. And it's great because we're going to show the whole documentary first quarter and have a really great discussion because we're not immune in this uh, zip code. She's not the only one from Tiburon actually in the documentary. The second thing is send a message of hope. I'm doing great. And many of these kids send a message of hope. She's in college. Um, majoring in neuroscience, not accounting, like I had suggested. But, you know, she wants to c carry on some of the things she learned and also say many of the things that are available that helped me, DBT, uh, is a certain type of uh, therapy. We need to get them in the schools earlier. We need to help kids at a much earlier age. And the final thing is, tell everybody the importance of true connection, true emotional connection. In a world that we're all socially connected, there's an emotional gap, void, that we need to bridge. And I will say the reason I'm here at the library she had, as a teen, she had pictures of the library, and she said, next to my own home, this is where I feel the best. That, and I, I couldn't quite get it until I started getting involved in the library. And there's a vibe here. There is a vibe that relates to connection authentic connection. So I want to end by saying thank you to Kiki and to Jacqueline for making this amazing documentary. And I also want to thank all the folks at the library because you really helped my daughter when she needed. So can we give the library folks and Kiki and just the biggest hand. Thank you, thank you, thank you.